Coach, what do you feel has been your biggest difference so far being the head coach? I feel a little bit more popular. You know, since last year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mostly that's good. Some of it's I'm okay not being as popular. But it's you have to be really just selfish, I think is a good way to put it, for your time and you know, then the time still I'm gonna spend with my kids and my family. Uh, hopefully they say I'm still as fun as I was before, but it's obviously more time planning practices and all the things that come with it. But it's a blessing. I think I've handled it really well, but obviously it's only gonna get busier from here, so I'll take it for for whatever that means. You were a player for four years here at Duke, you have a lot of experience as a coach. How are you able to offer that unique perspective, seeing how important that is for a team to have veteran leadership like that? You know, what type of wisdom are you able to offer a team like this? Yeah, yeah, I think I think a lot. Having won the jersey and doing it in a different time. But I still think although it was a different time some of the rules still apply. Coach K's biggest thing, to me this is one of my favorite phrases or words to live by was next play. Whether you do do well or you don't do well, you always got to move on to the next play. Having that experience as a player and now been on the staff, I try to keep these guys in the moment, so to speak, because I know like if you can get out of that moment, your head get a little bit too big, <laughs> the next the next game you be down. Or if you don't play as well, hey man, it's okay. It's okay, I, and I can go back to a game where 1999, I'd be like, Coach, 1999? <laughs> yeah, man, 99, God. That's like 23 years. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, but you can, you, can, you can give them some examples of like, it's going to be okay. And so being able to go there, I think it helps these guys. They can like kind of settle down a little bit. Uh, so I think that's where being a former player helps here, especially. It hasn't been long since you've been playing here in Cameron. How have you been able to take your experience and your success from your time as a player and use it to connect with this year's team um, on a new level in your first year as assistant coach? Yeah, I think just being myself, um, talking to them, uh, sharing my stories, letting them know that you know every day is you know doesn't have to be a home run. Um, that this is a journey. And you know, using the summer uh, especially to lay a, a really good foundation and to help that propel us into where we are now and then keep growing. And that's what we want to see from our guys. We don't want them to be at their best right now. We're evolving, uh, we're becoming better. And so for me, being here, playing here, uh, knowing what it takes to, to win at the highest, highest level, just uh, imparting that kind of wisdom on them and then being with them every day, you know, uh, on the court, on the floor, sweating with them, pushing them, making them work. Uh, I think that's the, the biggest thing I've loved, uh, being out there, uh, helping them get better. Coach, you mentioned working out a lot with the guys. A lot of them probably don't realize that you can still hoop. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you give guys like Derek the work and the paint? Well, we, we, we play sometimes. Um, <laughs> I still got a little game left. <laughs> so it's fun to get out there. Mostly I'm pushing them, guarding them, things like that. Uh, but it, it's fun to get out there with them and just make sure, you know, guys remember, you know, I can still play a little bit. Hey Coach, you've had, you know, an insane amount of experience throughout your career, both yeah. as a player and you know, also being at a program like Kentucky. What are you able to bring over to Duke from such a talented and historical program like Kentucky, besides the competitiveness? Right. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is just, you know, Duke and Kentucky have always been, like you're saying, kind of, walk the same path as like those blue bloods, but there's also differences, you know what I mean, in, in what they do and how they do things. So the biggest thing is just, not just from Kentucky, but everywhere I've been, is just kind of bringing an outside perspective and just kind of putting it in the atmosphere to see like, you know, if it's something that we need to do here or if it's something that we could tweak a little bit that could maybe take us over the top in something. Coach K's done a great job, obviously, of having a great foundation here. And I think John will do a great job of continuing it, but also in his own kind of way.